What's happening everybody? Well, Dodge recently released the direct connection power upgrades to the 340 and 440 kilowatt versions of the Banshee, but they left us hanging a little bit as far as what the power was going to be for the top tier trim level. But they did give us a bit of a hint in letting us know that the powertrain was running on an 800 volt system. Now, that's important because another one of Stellantis's brands is Maserati. And we were recently given the specifications for the 800 volt system in the Maserati Gran Turismo Fulgore. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But anyway, that's the car that we are going to reference. And I also want to reference not only the Fulgore, but to compare and contrast it to the Plaid. So let's dive into this. So the Fulgore, running an 800 volt system has a roughly 120 kilowatt battery with three 300 kilowatt motors, which is in essence to say 400 horsepower a piece gives you 1200 horsepower. To contrast that, the Plaid has three 250 kilowatt per hour batteries, which is roughly 337 horsepower, giving you just the other side of a thousand horsepower. And it's got a 100 kilowatt hour battery. And you say, wow, that's a pretty big difference. Well, it is, but it's not. You see, the Fulgore, although it does and can develop 1200 horsepower, that's only going to be allowed for short bursts. And again, remember the Fulgore is running on a 800 volt system where the Plaid is running on a 400. That becomes important when you start to look at range considerations. The higher the voltage, the smaller the battery capacity is going to act in essence. It's kind of like running two batteries in series versus two batteries in parallel. If you run two batteries in series, you double the voltage, but you keep the same amount of amp hours. If you run them in parallel, you have the same voltage, but you double the amp hours available. And that's kind of what's going on here, so to speak. So that's very evident when you look at the ranges of these two vehicles with the Plaid having a 400 mile range roughly and the Fulgore having roughly a 260 to 280 mile range it basically says that it's kind of like running two batteries in series versus one big battery like what you would find in the Plaid. And also there's another slight catch with the Fulgore. You see, yes, it can produce 1200 horsepower in short bursts, although we're not really ever told what that short burst is, um, but its continuous output rating is 751 horsepower, which is to say that yes, it is still incredibly fast, but there's no saying as to when or how it falls into that 751 horsepower power output or for how long, again, that 1200 horsepower is going to be available. I would assume it's going to be at least available for somewhere around nine and a half or 10 seconds because that car is absolutely going to be a monster with zero to 60 times being thrown in there. Just the other side of two seconds and about eight and a half to 8.8 .8 seconds to get to 125 miles an hour. Um, yeah, that's going to be pretty quick. Will it beat a plaid? Well, we can speculate all we like, but the only way to really find out is to line them both up at a drag strip and let it rip. So guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about this because there seemed to be a little bit of confusion because of that 800 volt number that was thrown out there. That was not an 800 kilowatt number that would have been thrown out there. An easy way to back math, by the way, kilowatts to voltages, I'm sorry, <laughs> kilowatts to horsepower, um, is instead of voltage, we're talking about the kilowatt, the power output here. See how easily it is to get confused. I end up talking and tripping all over my words. Anyway, uh, basically you would take the actual kilowatts and multiply that times 1.34. That gives you the number. And the easy way to remember that is that a horsepower is three quarters of a kilowatt. So you just you know, it's super easy to get to the math right there. And so, but the main thing that I wanted to bring to you guys is this. Yes, Direct Connection will have power upgrades for the Banshee. No, we don't know what the outright Hellcat, if you will, version uh, of that 
platform is going to be. But if we look at the Fulgora, we get a pretty decent idea of what to expect. Somewhere around 1,200 horsepower, at least four short bursts, and a range uh, not that great, just the, uh, just the other side of maybe 250 miles. Again, how does it stack up against the Plaid? It's going to be a little bit quicker, but have a significantly less range. And that ain't necessarily a bad thing if you're just looking for a hot rod to scoot around on the weekends with. But for a lot of guys, that range really is going to throw them off. And it's going to be probably the biggest turnoff to the Fulgore over the Plaid. Yeah, you get the panache of a Maserati nameplate, or you get the cool factor of a Dodge muscle car, you just have to pay the price of a significantly reduced range to go along with it. So hopefully that helps you guys out, brings you guys a little bit of information, gives you a car maybe you haven't heard of yet to check out. And with that, that's a wrap. Y'all have a great one. Adios.